What's going on guys, Tmart here, and today we are going to be talking about the Black Ops 3 beta. So, you guys know a couple of nights ago at the Sony press conference, they announced that they were officially partnering up with Activision and Call of Duty, and they are going to have the exclusive rights to the beta and to the map packs this year. They're going to be getting those first before they come out on Xbox, just like Xbox has been doing for the past couple of years. So that was kind of the, uh, the big news that everybody freaked out about. Now, a lot of people didn't catch that they also announced the beta is actually going to be coming out in August. They officially confirmed that and it's coming out first on PlayStation and later on Xbox so we can expect it sometime in August I would assume mid to late August because Gamescom is in early August that's the 5th through the 9th I believe so I'd expect it to be like you know, really hyped up and stuff at Gamescom they always do a lot of Gamescom every year and and then once it's been hyped up there I'd expect it to come out uh, maybe the next week maybe a week after something like that you know August 11th is the first Tuesday after Gamescom August 14th is the first Friday after Gamescom something like that I would expect it to come out on PlayStation. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be a week to two weeks long. I'd be very, very surprised if it was more than two weeks long, and then I would assume that very soon after the PlayStation 1 ends is when it's going to come out on Xbox and PC. And, and honestly, like, I think that's kind of cool because if you have a PlayStation and then you also have an Xbox or a PC, you get to play the beta for double as long since they're not going on in the same time period. So uh, that's going to be really fun. I'll be able to get a lot of gameplay and footage and stuff for you guys, and it should be pretty good. Now, uh, as for the beta, what can we expect? Uh, I'm just, you know, kind of guessing here, but I would assume that it would be very similar to the build of the game that we're playing now. You aren't going to have access to all the maps. You probably won't be able to level up uh, as high as you want. You're not going to have all the guns, all the perks, all that stuff unlocked. Maybe you'll have guns and perks, but definitely not all the maps. They want to keep it fresh, and they, they don't want to, you know, kind of show you everything before the game comes out. But, uh, you know, I would expect it to be, you know, the four maps we've already played on, Combine, Evac, Hunted, and Stronghold and a mix of game types and it's just like it's gonna be a little short preview teaser of the game which is is gonna be pretty cool and you know on top of that not only do we get a first look but since it's in August that still gives them a couple of months before the game actually comes out to be able to take the the feedback and the stats and stuff like that that they gather from the beta to be able to make it a better game at launch so I would honestly expect this launch to be the best Call of Duty launch we've ever had I expect the game to you know be a lot more balanced than we've had in the past and this beta really should help Help make this one of the the best Call of Duty games of all time. So uh, I'm pretty excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Let me know what you guys think about the beta coming in August. Uh, are you guys you know already pre-ordered? You already have codes, stuff like that. Actually, I have a bunch of codes I still have to give away. So uh, pay attention to that in the coming uh, days and weeks and you know months even. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.